fire away, Ohio. Mr. President, thank you for doing this. We appreciate you listening. Uh, I want to say hi to Jeff and tell him we appreciate his work and the fact that he listens and we're on the phone again today. So that's very, very helpful to us. Uh, Mr. President, we've taken a community uh, approach to this. Ohio is a, a state of communities. Uh, we started off uh, right from the word go about 650 locations. We're now up to 1,900 loca locations uh, where people can get the shot. And in addition to that, we have pop new pop-up uh, places every day. We have the uh, mobile clinics out uh, as well. And that's worked, that's worked exceedingly, exceedingly well. Uh, we started early on uh, with pharmacies. And um, that's, we think that that has been very important as well as our health departments, as well as our federally qualified clinics uh, and our hospitals. We have um, a lot of nursing homes and a lot of assisted living in Ohio, I think over 1,700. Yeah, and of course, we had a lot of deaths there. Yeah. And so the first thing that we did on day one, literally, uh, was to start focusing on those nursing yeah. homes and assisted living. Once we made the, working with the federal government, three passes through these nursing homes, we knew that that was not enough though, because we knew that they would be taking mm -hmm. in new people uh, they would have new residents every day. They would have new employees every day. So we have set up a, a vaccine maintenance program uh, that's working with their pharmacy and is making sure that every single week they've got new vaccine going in to these 1,700 nursing homes. And I think that that makes a huge difference. Again, taking it to, to people where they are. Our National Guard uh, is going out and has been going out for weeks into uh, senior housing. Uh, taking it right into the lobby, setting up shop, vaccinating people. All they have to do is come down from their rooms. And that has worked, we think, uh, very, very well. Uh, we're really decentralized in Ohio, Mr. President. We have 113 local health departments. And yeah. it's the local health departments, it's the mayors, it's the counties. They are the ones where really the, the action is. So I'm on the phone every Monday morning uh, for 45 minutes with every one of our health departments. And I learn a lot. They tell us what, what they need, what we can do to help them. We try to get them right away, whatever, whatever they need. But we also hear from them uh, the innovation that they're doing. And the innovation, as you know, as you said at the beginning, comes locally. And so we'll take that innovation from one health department, what they're doing, and then make sure that other health departments are aware of that and other, other providers around the state uh, are, are aware of that. So it's very, very, very in, important. Um, we have taken a uh, vaccine in August. Uh, we went out, uh, excuse me, in February, we went out and vaccinated every teacher in the state who wanted to be vaccinated. We actually took the vaccine to a place close to them. In some cases, it was directly into their school. That enabled us to open up virtually every single school on, on March 1st. Uh, and, but again, it was taking it to them. Uh, we've done the same thing with colleges uh, before college was out for the summer. Uh, we've done it with working with our labor unions. Uh, we've done it working with businesses. Uh, a lot of innovation going on in businesses. And what we found is the businesses that have us come in, have a, have a health partner that does it, uh, they work very closely with their employees. And they're able to get an uptake that, quite candidly, I don't think we would have gotten any other way but by taking that directly, yeah. directly into, that, into that business. Uh, we are really at the ground game now. We've always been at the ground game, uh, but I think you're seeing governors, you know, continue to push out and uh, go to where people people are. Uh, we have some health departments are literally out knocking on knocking on doors. We have mobile clinics going around, and we want to reach people, you know, exactly where they are. Just a couple observations. Uh, there certainly has been a appetite for the Johnson and Johnson. Uh, we're, yeah. we're seeing that the people who really want Johnson Johnson, they want that one shot and, and to be done. Uh, there also clearly was an appetite for walk-up clinics. Uh, and so, you know, most of the clinics in Ohio, uh, as you said, are open for walk-ups. And people, there's people who just want to go. They want to make up their mind that day and go out and, and be able to knock on the door. Uh, finally, we're very, very excited. Uh, about being able to vaccinate uh, 12, 13, 14, and 15-year-olds. And we've got plans yeah. uh, in schools. We also have plans in the, in the summer 
uh, with Boys Club and Girls Clubs, uh, feeding programs, and other things trying to take this to where people are. So thank you for doing this, Mr. President. Well, thank you both.